There will be some changes that will come into effect on 1 July 2015 that will impact all of our CFP and AFP practitioners who currently have a CPD requirement. The first change is moving from a CPD point system towards a CPD hours system. And what that means is from 1 July 2015, our CFP and AFP practitioners will be required to track and monitor their CPD activity based on hours rather than points. The second change applies to tertiary studies. We're seeing an increased volume of practitioner members come through and ask for CPD for tertiary studies that they've participated, throughout, participated in throughout the triennium. From 1 July 2015, we'll be automatically recognising courses that have been passed at an AQF7 level or above, which is a bachelor's degree. We'll be recognising these courses at 20 CPD hours per subject passed from 1 July. The third change impacts our CPD and marks audit. Traditionally we would conduct this audit towards the end of the triennium and going forward we'll be conducting this audit twice a year to provide a bit more constant feedback towards our CFP and AFP practitioners and point them in the, the right direction on a, on a more frequent basis. In the current triennium, CPD points needed to be in increments of 0.25 points per activity. Going forward from 1 July 2015, CPD activity will need to be in increments of 15 minutes. So what that means is any CPD activity that is conducted needs to be in a denomination of no less than 15 minutes. FPA practitioners cannot transfer CPD between trienniums. So as 1 July 2015 starts a new triennium, our practitioner members will be starting their CPD activity from scratch. For any courses that are accredited prior to 1 July 2015, these can still be offered in the new triennium and for any points that have already been accredited, they will simply be recognised as hours in the new triennium. So what that means is if an activity has been accredited with one point from 1 July 2015, that activity will be recognised as one hour. We will of course be communicating the changes to our members. If you want to find out more information, you can visit www.fpa.asn.au forward slash CPD.